what's up guys thank you for watching today's video as always I do appreciate all your support if you want to help out you can always click like on this video down below consider sharing it out to your favorite social media there's also lots of helpful links as well as any links to any stencils featured today right down below there's also a link for becoming a school squad member consider joining to help out the channel if you have any questions you can always drop them down in the comments down below I do check them and I do reply whenever I've, I have some helpful information. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, you can always click on the Mike's Brush link here and it will take you directly to the channel where you can see lots of other videos that we've done in the past. Thank you for watching. Let's get on with the show. What's up, everybody? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Get this, where is it? What's up? Ugh, I guess I, I guess I should sit. Let's start by sitting. What's up? So here we got today our, um, this is, this is my personal uh, TTO2 Super Impreza. Now it's the Monte Carlo 99 Impreza. In my case, I'm just gonna call it the Impreza Rally. The Rally! Um, I've been wanting a, a Rally RC car for a while. It's about the only type of RC car that I haven't had is a Rally car. Um, so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just wanna do something simple, but nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully get to some stickers here at the end and uh, get it all pretty up. Uh, but I do have a pre-cut. I just have this wing on there for, for decoration right now, but we'll get it off of here. Get this chassis out of the way. Uh, Once we need that again, we'll, we'll, we'll bring this all back at the very end, just to show it all off. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm kind of away from the microphone. We'll get some lights going. <laughs> Now you guys can see everything pretty good. I don't know how well you can hear me though. Can you hear me okay? Is it all right over there? Uh, let me make sure you get over here. Okay. Yep, what's up, James McLean? Let me, uh, I need to do this. I need to do this. There it is. Oh no, that's that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Oh, uh, anyway. What's up, James McLean? What's up, Fings? What's up, Loie? Bo Luby? What's up, Chris Garcia? What's up, Sir Aaron Softstrom? What's up, Railfly? Art Life Customs? What's up, Six Grizzly? Rob Bound? Sunny Days? What's up, everybody? How's it going? Yeah, yeah. All right. Nice and clear. Cool. So we have the body. Um, we have to lay down some masking before we do any type of painting. Now, it comes with this blue wing. And uh, because of this, I don't... Man, I, I, I feel like I'm gonna end up repainting it anyway, but I don't really want to repaint this wing. I want to keep this blue. So I want to do the top of the car blue, and then I want to do a gold insert, like a gold, just a nice gold scallop going down, right, right down the side, and over the first wheel, and then I want white going around the back. Nothing too crazy, that's all I want. But I, I'm gonna try to get fancy with the blue. I think we're gonna do like a candy, and then we're gonna do an iridescent blue underneath. With some backer, of course, and then we're gonna do some gold. Uh, but we'll do some like sparkle first, and then we'll do the gold, and then maybe we'll do like a black backer. And then the white, um, I think I might just keep it just plain old white. I don't, I don't think I'll do a white pearl or anything like that. Maybe we'll do some like hot rod sparkle white and then put white, just so it's nice and fancy. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah. So let's get to masking. What's up, Fingerprint Customs? You do the cars for fun or you sell them? Uh, you gotta paint your GPR Super TTR2. Yeah, so. 
I ended up going with the TTO2 just because it there's like a lot of pop-ups available already and upgrades and stuff and um yeah I like to do I like to do some upgrades is this pre-cut or not do I have to cut this I still have to cut this right no no big deal let's cut it out real quick Let's get the crazy fancy. Um, so this is my personal car. I do paint RC bodies if, if you want one done. Some I do quite a bit. At least it's marked off for you, I guess. It'd be nice if it was pre-cut. A lot of them come pre-cut. This is not, this one is not pre-cut. I did not know that. Right. And I have already washed the body, cleaned it up real good. It's about my one advice I'd give you. So always make sure you wash that body up. Is it cut on the back maybe? No, this is not pre-cut. I thought, it, I thought it would be, but it's not. Alright, so we'll just lay these in one at a time, I guess. Left side, alright, left side. In. Go to the right window. Howdy, from Houston. What's up, Max Thrasher? How's it going? Yo, uh, yeah. yep, yep, yep. I probably should have. Oh man, I should have checked this thing first. If I would have known it, this wasn't pre cut, I would have cut this out and pasted these before stream. Alright, it'll only take a hot second. And I will be moving over to the easel here in a minute. Just gotta get this stuff done here. The masking is a lot easier to do on a flat surface. And the painting is a lot easier to do on a vertical surface. Vertical surface! It's not pre-cut. Well, yeah, I, this, that's what I just said, yeah. They're usually pre-cut, so it's... This is new! This is new to me! Usually I ain't got to do this part and somebody takes care of this for me. Like what do I mean? Like I show up and this part's already done. I'm 
this is my first Tamiya kit, so. Us RC guys don't get enough rep. I don't know, man. There's a lot of RC channels out there. There's probably not a, that many RC painting channels. That is true. I don't see many people dedicating themselves to making videos about, specifically about just RC painting. But I've always been into RCs. Oh, yeah, let me tell you the whole story why I got this. All right, so uh, I always talked about how I liked RCs and stuff. And I was into it. And then our local track that was here ended up moving. And it's, it was no longer here. But a new, a new track just opened. Uh, here in the mall in Pueblo, I think it's called Steel City RC. In the Pueblo mall, this rear sticker doesn't. This really don't fit. So. I was like, ooh, finally a place to have some fun. So I was looking at RC cars. And currently they have like a mini Z racing series going on. Uh, which I honestly, I don't have any interest in the mini Zs. They're, they're cool and everything. They're just not for me. This window did not go on where I want it. Take that off of there. You always got you got one shot at this, so make sure it's good. Man, this is window is not right. I'd almost rather just cut it out on there. Like if I line it up at one edge and then I lay it down, it doesn't lay up on the other edge. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it means it's too small. That means it's too small. perfect or it's not gonna fit story of my life um, I have a 77 trans Am body been meaning to paint for two years now <laughs> yeah you gotta get to work on that if it's been two years uh, a lot of exposure yeah The red cat drift cars, yeah. I know. I know a lot of people do the drift cars like super scale, super nice. I'm just not that into drifting. But when I like, I've seen videos of the rally cars, like the RC cars. That looks like a lot of fun. The drifting, uh, just I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just it doesn't get my attention in quite the same. Like, I want to race. I want to go fast. And what, you know, our rally cars, how they can go on dirt and stuff, it's, it's pretty fun. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But I know some of the 
the drift cars, man, they get insane with the detail. That's for sure. Some of them guys do some really sick builds. Sick. Well, if, oh, if that goes down in place, I'd be surprised. No. No. Close, but no banana. You gotta get it on there perfect. If it ain't perfect, it ain't gonna work. And you want to you want it to be a challenge? Go get you one of these RC car bodies. And all I gotta say is good luck to you, sir. Good luck. Honestly, I I would probably my tip the way I usually do it because sometimes they get RC bodies that don't come with no masking. And I'll just lay masking tape and then just cut it around the edge. It probably saves actually some time because this, I would have already had it done. <laughs> but you want to feel official, you know? You want to use the official masking stickers that came with it, you know? With the, with the with Japanese lettering and stuff. It's not an official paint job if you don't use the official masking, you know, you gotta have, gotta have all that in there. <laughs> all right, windows, done. That's only part one. Okay, let's get some masking tape here, and I only want a nice thin, I'm gonna use the blue. Okay, let's lay down some lines. Let's lay down some lines. You haven't messed with RCs since the early 80s. Oh, dude. Dude, let me tell you. The batteries have come a long way. A long way. Like, I plan to run this on a nice 2S battery pack, like a 5200 milliamp hour. It'll probably run for a good like 45 minutes before I have to stop and like recharge the battery. Like the car will probably get, if I run it too hard, the car will probably get too hot. <laughs> More than anything. <laughs> but the batteries, sir, nowadays, mwah, the batteries are, ugh. For our C cars, they, they work great. All right, marker time. Make sure this marker works. It used to be the batteries kind of sucked, not gonna lie. All right. 
marker, not the one I wanted, but found a marker. Okay, so I want a nice straight line here. Straightish. Do I even have to mark that? I mean, that's pretty, pretty straight as it is. I just want it to go straight across and over the wheel. We're gonna paint that whole top area blue. I don't think I, don't think I need to mark it. Let's just lay some tape in. Let's just go ham. Let's just go ham. <laughs> All LM. Watching you do these is making me want to buy one now. They're not that expensive. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's expensive, I guess, as far as a toy goes, but, I mean, I've seen people spend way more than this on just, like, a meal or something. Got it right there. Did it not cut? Did it fake cut? <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy right up in there. Yeah, well hopefully at this track that just opened up, they have a track of sorts. But hopefully they could, you know, we get it. Nice, either a nice just one-tenth scale racing league. It would be nice like to do it a TT specific. But I don't know. I, mean, I haven't been there. I've, I've seen it a few times. But uh, the only thought I could get while I was there was like, oh, I wish I had a race car so I could race around this track. So that's what we're doing. So you see this line? Everything from here this way, we're gonna do it blue. We're gonna, I, mean, I wanna say we're gonna try to match this blue, but I don't think we're gonna try to match this blue. I want something nice. I want a nice. Uh, I have a couple set of batteries for the Trans Traxxas Monster Track I have. Better late than never. What's up, Oz? How's it going? I got two bodies done with a six ounce and have a bit left over. Yeah, like it doesn't take much to paint a body. That is for sure. Okay, Thank you. 
bring it in from the front. Going towards the back. This line a lot better than this line right now. Let me just reset, reset this. That, that just laid down a lot smoother and nicer. section will be blue. Let's cut off our remaining piece here. There we go. All right. Um, no one likes that they are being watched by. <laughs> ah, that's funny. trim going over the, the wheel blam, blam. and I want to do that insert in gold so it'll be blue gold and then this bottom area here that'll be white not too crazy not too fancy still takes quite a bit of work quite a bit of masking and uh, you gotta still do it backwards
just got to match up this nice little curve. Pretty good right there. The other side. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. All righty. Let's get some masking paper. What's up, Paul Tarchala? How's it going? What is the all the letteries? F T O. You need one of those Visionaire RC jigs. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have the Visionaire system. Maybe one day when I'm part of the cool kids. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. Master tape. Just trying to think about what I was doing. One day I'll be part of the cool kids. I'll have one of those cool visionaries. <laughs> I've already done quite a few uh, upgrades, mods, things uh, having to do with my setup this year. Maybe next year, I don't know, we'll see. We'll look into the Visionaire system. I just don't use, like, I don't know. I don't use anything that much enough to have, like, a, like a whole dedicated setup for it. Right, like, I'm doing this RC body today, and the way I'm doing it right now is probably fine. Because this is the way I've done it forever. And then tomorrow I'll be doing some shirts. And I have my easel for that. And the more setups I have to, like to get, the more I'm gonna have to like store. All right, so now it's not just having the setup. I have to have space to so, like. Where am I gonna put that jig when I'm not painting RCs? Honestly, right now we need space. Space for other things right now. Got some other things going on. Gotta kind of prioritize the space. Still a few things in the works. You have a 3D printer, make a stand for your RC bodies. Okay. I don't know what kind of stand I'm supposed to have that I could just constantly be rotating the body and doing this and like, let me just move it around and I need to get up in there this way this time, so let me just... <laughs> Once we get on the paint rack over there where we're gonna paint, it's different. Like I said, the masking is a lot easier to do on a flat surface. Just for me, from my experience, this is the way I like to do it. Mask it here, paint it over there. 
Not only is the ventilation over there, but painting it upright is a lot easier. And if I feel the need to, I'll maybe tape it down or something. But nine times out of 10, I'm probably still gonna move it around. Like, right? like I'm gonna still be like, oh, I need to get in there. And then I'll like rotate it and then come back this way. And then maybe rotisserie it all the way around as I'm painting. As I'll do like this and then I'll kind of do that and kind of move it around. You'll see, we're almost there to the point. Now let me lay, let me lay some more masking tape, man. Don't get ahead of me. I just I don't understand what what kind of setup <laughs> I print. It has to be like a, a ten axis arm or something on a ball that rotates. Sometimes, I just like to keep it simple. Sometimes, I'm a simple man. Doing simple things, and I don't need to overcomplicate it. <laughs> just sometimes. Is this RC for a customer? No, this is mine. This is my RC car that I will be using for fun. I don't know if you were here for the whole story of the RC place opening up here in town. After the other one ended up going away a while ago. So, yeah, I used to... We, I used to race RCs here in town when the old track was here in town and we had the outdoor track and uh, yeah we had a lot of fun racing at that track and stuff and then one day he just decided he's gonna move his business the RC business and he moved away and uh, there was no RC place there well there was kind of one but it wasn't very good and it ended up closing down, and then now there's a new one that opened up here in the mall, and it's pretty nice. It's called Steel City RC, and yeah, they already have racing going on, and they have a nice little track. And if you're ever here in Colorado, in Pueblo, make sure you go and you check them out. And if you're lucky, you might find me in there, running around my TTO2, trying to get around the track without crashing. All right, look at that. We're ready to paint, finally. Finally ready to paint, oh my God. I'd like to thank the Academy for getting me to this point. For all the Skull Squad members that believed in me. We're ready to paint, boys! <laughs> Alrighty. Now we can do this. Alright, now how well is that going to show? I don't know. But you see, look, look, now I'm on the easel. Now look, it's, it's just, we're just going to lay some paint right up in here. And then it's just going to sit right here. Then I might just have to do this, right? And just maybe do the bottom side right here. You know, we're gonna rotate it this way. We'll do that, man. Lay it in a little different, and then do the bottom side this way. Man, it's not that big of a deal, man. It's not that big of a deal. The only issue right now is that the camera is like over here facing this way. If we keep the body like that, you guys can see as I'm painting. <laughs> All right. This is why my Trans Am bottom has been sitting for two years. Yeah, I know, right? There you go. Simple, simple is good. Yeah, yeah, simple is the best. 
You know, you ever heard of that, that, that term kiss? You know, keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes simple is the best way. It's the easiest way. It's the way everybody... If you can't do it the simple way, you shouldn't have a big old setup to do it the fancy way. <laughs> All right. So now let's start talking about some colors. Colors, colors, colors. <laughs> I am a nightmare walking, <laughs> gangster stalking. Colors, colors. finger in my glove right and I just went like this and that is the strangest feeling that is weird so, whoa it went all the way to my hand oh that feels weird <laughs> that is strange that is a strange feeling what the hell oh man all right anyway let me um we're gonna use a little bit of candy blue, uh, the Caribe blue. Some Caribe blue. We're gonna use some Hot Rod Sparkle Plot. Actually, the very next upgrade I actually need to get, that we need, need, is the one of those little paint shaker things. No lie, this time I for really need to order one of those paint shaker things. We got all the big stuff out of the way. Now I need one of those little fucking shake it up real quick and let's move on. All right, so we're gonna use Hot Rod Sparkle White. We're gonna use Sparkle Spectrum. We're gonna use Hot, let me, let me not get it out of myself. Let me, I just need to shake it though. We're gonna use Gariba Blue and Hot Rod Sparkle White as the base uh, or the top coat. The top coat for the um, for the blue. This will give it a nice little sparkly sparkle, but also it's it, it'll keep the sparkles, you know, in blue. We're gonna lay in like a couple thin coats, and then I am going to mix up. A little bit of iridescent blue we have over here with a little bit of 4050 um, and then we're gonna lay that in probably a couple nice thin coats and then we'll lay some black backers so. yeah you shake any boy shake all right now let's get some some paint flowing let's get the juices going boy let's get them juices going we're gonna start out with a little caribe blue in the in the mix right we're gonna we're gonna drop that in here look where is it this one see see me over here see we're gonna drop a little caribe blue in the mix right here right then we're gonna take a little hot rod spark a little bit of hot rod sparkle white we're going to uh, just drizzle that baby right up in there. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a little bit of 4011 reducer. Look at that. Just squirt that baby right up in there. Ooh. Ooh, you see that? You see that nice little mix? Then what we're going to do with this right here is we're going to shake it. We're going to cap that up. Cap it up good. Cover up your vent hole right here. Blam. Then we're going to shake it, baby. We're going to shake it. 
Ah! <laughs> All right. So this is the top coat. Or you you know, it's the, the layer that would be right before the top coat cuz the Lexan body is the top coat you know that's your clear um, like I said I've already washed this cleaned it up real good um, and that's pretty much what you need for Createx to stick give me a little bit right here bam and then we're just gonna lay it in nice and light nice and light and all we want is a little bit of that sparkle a little bit of that blue. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mask real quick because this is because of the way this is masked, it's literally just blowing right back at me. So let me grab a mask. Nice setup with the cameras. Thank you, thank you. All right, let me just spray this up real quick. Um, I know you can't hear me too well, but now that we don't have to worry about the compressor going off in five minutes or something, we should be all right. All right, so we got that first layer in. I don't know how well you guys could see that on camera. Let me try to get it. You guys can see that sparkle? Can you guys, there you, there you go, you can see it. You see that sparkle in there? That's all I want. And we've tinted, we've managed to tint the Lexan blue. Which will give it a nice tone. Now I'm just going to take some Gariba Blue Candy. We're not going to use no more Hot Rod Sparkle on this one. And I just want to do a coat with just the candy by itself. And I'm just going to do a little bit of reducer in there. Shake it, boy. Shake it, boy. All right, I'm just going 
gonna air this out real quick, make sure it's dry. I don't wanna build up any wet spots or anything like that. Always make sure it's dry before you go on to lay another coat. Big pro tip, if you're gonna use Createx to paint Lexan body, just use air. I managed to get it pretty warm in here before I started, so it's like 75 degrees in here. Um, so just use air, nothing too crazy. And make sure it's dry before you start layering in more coats. And the best way to do that is, and uh, I always use the matte, matte clear uh, for my candies. Um, the reason is because I could tell when it's dry. And when I lay like gloss clear over it, um, it turns perfectly normally clear anyway. So it doesn't really matter, but it's a good visual indicator for me. When I see this dry, um, I'll, it's, it kind of turns like a nice flat. And that's how I know like, okay, it's ready for another coat. Uh, but in this case, I, in these bodies, I always like to just give it a lot of extra air because in these little spaces and these cracks, uh, the paint likes to build up. Um, so you gotta kinda give those little areas a little extra time. And then we'll do another coat. Alright, so we've managed to tint the Lexan completely blue. Now from this side you won't be able to see that sparkle. I don't think you can see it at all pretty much at this point. Even here where I'm at, like you can see it but it's not really sparkly. And we won't be able to see it until we peel off this uh, protective layer. I think maybe if I get in there with the light, you'll be able to see some of it. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. But the reason I like to lay the clear or the candy in between that sparkle and then the silver, because it gives that sparkle kind of like a layer. So it kind of gives it look like it's, it's on top of the silver, which it will be. Um, and that's kind of the point. It, it'll make it more stand out. It'll make the silver, the little white, you know, glitters pop out a lot more in the sun. 
so when you're out driving it on the track and stuff, you're just looking extra fresh, which is what I want. I want people to go look at my body and go, dang, what color paint is that? And I'm gonna be like, this is my custom, custom stuff here. You can't get this, and this is the custom stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, Jaime Rodriguez. Is, that's not the real Jaime. What airbrush are you using for general spraying? Um, so I've been using a, a lot the GSI Creos, the 279. Right, this is the, no, the 270. The 270 and then the other one is the 289. And then uh, as always, I use my Water Revolution, my Water Eclipse. And then the Badger Sotar has been staying on the on the workbench pretty steady. Then I have the Sparmax that I use uh, generally for some colors and stuff. Uh, but then for my t-shirts, I've been using the Badger Anthem 155. It's now pretty steady for the past, like, what? It's been like 10 years now that I've been using those same airbrushes. Um, and all I've had to replace is, like, a few nozzles and needles. So... Man, oh man, that just makes me wish it was the real Hymen, dude. R.I.P. Hymen, Hymen. Whole arsenal there, man. Damn. You try the Grex point seven? No, I haven't tried that. I actually, I have a Grex over there, and they they sell a new cap for them, right? And I was thinking maybe I need to get one of them new caps, cause I wasn't too fan of their magnetic cap. Um, I thought the airbrush did pretty good, but that magnetic cap with the bulky front end and stuff it made it really hard to see what I was actually painting. And uh, like for stuff like this, I guess it's not so bad. Uh, but usually when I'm painting, I like to get in nice and close. I like to see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. I didn't like that big ass cap. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna throw some of this iridescent blue that I just got all over my fingers. The new bullet cap should work. The clear sight cap for the Grex is nice. Yeah, I have to try it. That's where I'm at. It looked really good when I seen it, so I'm definitely down. All right, so I'm gonna lay down some of this uh, iridescent electric blue. I'm gonna put some 4050 in it right here. Throw some reducer. Then we are going to shake it. Yeah, I need to order one of those and try it out. Give you guys my my thoughts on it. Because that was the only th problem that I really had with that airbrush. And that's the only reason I don't use it now. Is because that cap is just way too big and I can't see what I'm painting. If I can't see the needle, man, like that's 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 too much in the way. Uh, but the, I seen Steve, I think, was the one that put a video out saying they had the new cap. I was like, ooh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I got to try it. Balancing, uh, balancing clear as an adhesion promoter, right? Um, so yeah, we I don't use the balancing clear. I think the 4050 works pretty good. So that's that's what we're using on this. Yeah, 4050. 4030 works pretty good though. If you want to use that. What's up, Chris420 Dragon? I'm just gonna give this some air real quick before I get too ahead of myself. I've seen a little wet spot, so I'm just like, oh, hold on. 
and then make sure it's dry. So you can see that blue is really starting to come together right there. I'm trying to capture that light. There it is. See if we can see the sparkles, but I can't see them. You can kind of see them all. Yeah, if I look in person, I could see them. Oh, when I peel it, boy. Oh, when I peel it. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm excited. That looks cool. Okay. We gotta let this dry for a sec, pretty wet. And then I think I'm gonna just lay blue as a backer. Well, as a, just an in-between backer right now. We'll lay opaque blue. I might do one more coat of the iridescent. Oh, that's gonna look pretty darn sweet. Pretty dang sweet. Oh yeah, it's sparkly, boy. It's sparkly. Do you use bleed checker now? What? Yeah, if you're gonna lay candies and you're laying colors, uh, usually artwork is uh, where I'd worry more. Um, yeah, you use some bleed checker. 
On this particular thing, we're letting the coat just dry in between, and uh, it's more of the layer of the paint. Um, the, the, <laughs> we're working backwards, so it doesn't. The paint won't really bite in past the previous layer. Um, if that makes any sense to you. Wait till they see your car on the track. They'll ask who does it, your graphics, and I'll drum over more business. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. I honestly just like doing the RCs because I've always just liked them. I've liked having fun with them. Like the drones, the RC cars. I've had lots of them. I had a crawler. Um, but the only thing I haven't had is like a drift car and a rally car. And now with this, I have, I have a rally car. I don't really want a drift car though, I don't know. If I really wanted to, I could turn this into a drift car, but I don't, I'm, like, I have no desire. <laughs> I have no desire to do that. Right, so just giving this some air, making sure it dries up. The best part is peeling that film off when you're done. Yeah, when you feel that protective coat and you see the real color and the shine in there, it's just like, ooh, boy, ooh! Look what I did! Hope everyone has a has a great Thanksgiving. Have we ever yeah. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, yep. Yeah, when you peel that tape off, that's when it smacker doodles for sure. What up, Justice? How's it going? Just because I want to make sure that I do have it completely covered in metallics, I'm just going to do one more coat with this iridescent and then um, we'll move on to putting the background. And I think I'm just going to use uh, opaque blue for now. The blue looks nice. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Once we peel it, oh, it's gonna look so good. If, you, if you've never done an RC body, there's a protective film on this. See how it looks kind of like matte? This body is actually super shiny, like, like glossy, super glossy, and uh, super transparent. This, this matte here is just like this protective coating that we peel off. And um, yeah, that's when you'll get the, the true blue, the true shine. 
Um, and when you're painting, you're painting everything um, in reverse, right? So you'll see that I laid the, the sparkle and the hot rod stuff first, and then we're moving in that way. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so let's load up some blue. It's cool to see the entire process. Yeah. I know just from my personal experience and talking with a lot of the guys that, that have RCs and stuff, this is something that does get overwhelming for a lot of them. Because they want to have a nice paint job, right? But it, it requires a lot of time. Um, like this or or know-how or whatever you want to call it um, and I don't know I, I think it becomes like it becomes a lot of pressure in their head and so I know a lot of guys that just go like with a single color or a very simple scheme um, and or a lot of guys that'll just pay somebody to just paint it for them I know I've painted quite a few bodies and then it's fun you painting the body and then seeing it on the track it's like oh yeah it looks pretty good like it's pretty good like yeah if you ain't painting race cars make sure you're at least painting RC bodies all right because it's the next best thing <laughs> it dries pretty fast uh, kind of I guess there's still a little bit of wetness in there but that, like that's why you see me give it air in between coats um, and all we need is kind of like a surface dry you don't want to apply heat uh, right away we'll apply heat once we're done and before I lay my my actual like protective gloss coat on here um, I'll make sure to heat it up good and get the createx nice and solid before I do that top coat on there. You see like this, all I'm doing right here is just spraying air. Right, just air, no paint, and I'm just trying to let it dry. Just regular old air. Nice, good, clean air. Yeah, you see your art on the track, dude? It really changes the way you think about things. You're like, oh, you start getting creative, you start thinking about it. And especially if the drivers are into it, right? You'll have some drivers that will always ask for the same stuff. But then other guys will be like, no, nah, just have fun with it. Do something cool. You know, I just need something bright. Oh, those are the best ones. I just need something bright. So I can see it going down the track. Okay.
since I didn't watch from the what kind of prep does this require before you paint? Um, so, like I said, I usually, when I take one of these, Createx sticks really good to Lexan or polycarbonate, whatever. Um, it sticks really good. The only thing is, the surface has to be clean, and I mean clean. So, I wash this out really good with Dawn dish soap, let it dry, wash it again, and then rinse it off really good with clean water. Just rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, like get all the soap off of there and any oils that might be on there. And then just try to, like this is why I'm wearing these. I'm just trying my best to keep any my fingerprints or anything like that off of there because that will matter. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, soapy water. Yeah, you could scuff them. I don't think it's really necessary. Um, but yeah, I have uh, my like one of the original RCs uh, that I when I first started getting into RCs, and I did it with Createx way back when, and it's still like the paint still looks better. The body's getting real destroyed, but the paint still looks like the day that I did it, which is really nice. All right, so we got that. We got a coat of that opaque blue on there. Do one more coat of that. And then we'll be ready to move on to some gold. But yeah, really soapy water, like Dawn dish soap, the blue Dawn dish soap works really good. Like get it really soapy, rinse it really good, soapy again, rinse it. Um, and mainly it's because there's an oil that they use, like some kind of, I don't know what it is, or it might just be from the plastic, I'm not sure. But when they mold these bodies, they get the plastic really hot and then they like vacuum it onto a mold. Um, and then I think whatever, whatever they put on that mold, or on the plastic for it to release easily. Um, that's kind of what's on the body. And it's not like a whole lot. I do think they try to like rinse it off and stuff. Um, but sometimes if you don't rinse that stuff off, you'll have a hard time getting anything to stick onto it. So you always just have to make sure you wash it really good. Does that come pre-cut or do you need to cut out the wheel wells? No, this body does not come pre-cut. The only parts that came pre-cut was the holes for the body mounts and for the wing in the back. Um, the, the whole body on around the edges, around the bottom and the wheel wells, you have to cut it out yourself. They do sell uh, versions that are pre-cut and stuff. So if you're not like confident about cutting your body, there is that, but some good old Lexan scissors and a little bit of time and it's not so bad. What's up Jesse Chris? How's it going? Jesse Chris Astro! <laughs> Alright, let's get this bad boy to dry up. We'll lay some more blue and then we can move on to the gold.
Alright, so we pretty much got it to where you can't really see through it anymore. It's like it's... You can kind of see my fingers, you see that? But I don't think any other color is going to really go over that blue. That blue is pretty darn blue. I'm going to peel off the first layer of masking. I'm going to let this blue dry real quick. I'm still a kid at the age of 50. Hey, nobody said you have to grow up, man. Nobody said you have to grow up. As far as I'm concerned, growing up was always just an option. <laughs> wow, very nice blue. Thank you, baby. Let this dry real quick. Fifty is the new twenty. You're right though. I don't know if fifty is the new twenty, but like forty-five or like forty. I'm almost forty, boy. Almost forty, boy. Boy, what? <laughs> I'll never grow up. Life is way too short. Exactly, bro. What's the race to becoming an old, bitter person? Oh, I'm so old. Oh. I don't get it. Why, why are you racing to that? Slow down. Have a bowl of Cheerios. Go watch some cartoons. Just slow it down, baby. Slow it down. That's all you got to do. Just slow it down. Get this first coat off of here. Our blue painted we have our second area exposed where I just want the gold and go all the way around to the back I'm gonna start off by laying a coat of the hot rod sparkle spectrum before we lay any gold Gonna be 53 in December, 54. Everybody's 52, 54. Damn, son! Maybe I am still just a youngin. Maybe 50 is the new 20, which means I'm still a teenager, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, still in his prime, what? Boy, still in his prime, what? What'd you say to me, boy? I still in my prime. It's like I always like to say, though. It's like, I ain't 36, I'm only just 21 with like 15 years experience. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> all right, hot rod sparkle spectrum. Just a little bit right up in there. We're gonna take a little bit of 40-50. 21 with 30 years experience. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that.
All right, this is Hot Rod Sparkle Spectrum, which kind of has like a little rainbow effect to the glitter. The Spectrum. So we're gonna just lay a coat of this in there. Colonial Pen is going to be Mike's new sponsor. <laughs> he said glitter. My friend, us artists call it flake. What? No, no, no. The hot. This is Hot Rod Sparkle Spectrum. It's called Sparkle. Hot Rod Sparkle, son. This is not flake. I thought I had a bottle of flake here. Let me show you. Okay, this is flake, see, nice metal flake, that's flake, this is transparent flake, you ever seen this, transparent flake, disappears, I would like to call this sparkle, it's, it disappears, it does, you don't see it, so it's kind of more like, just like adding a sparkle, this is pearl. Pearl kind of changes the, the shift of the color. This, the Hot Rod Sparkle Spectrum, I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to get it on there. It's actually like a color. It's it's kind of like its own color, but this the, the little glitter in there, the little sparkles, they kind of do their own little thing. So it's different. It's technic technically, it's different. <laughs> Trust. Trust in that it's different. It's man glitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just go by what it says on the label. On the label it says a sparkle. So I call it sparkle. Who am I to argue with the manufacturer of the paint? I don't know. Some stuff says flake on it. Some stuff says pearl. I'm just gonna say this stuff says sparkle. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's it. So I'm getting that hot rod sparkle nice and dry. Just making sure that when we lay the gold in that that's not gonna get all wet on me. Get some gold. Oh. 
Oh, and I gotta say, shout out to Fings. Sent all this paint over. Right, he's like, yeah, I got all this t-shirt paint, la la la. I was like, yeah, cool, yeah, no problem, sent it over. Sends it over, and it's a bunch of pearl and um, iridescent colors. And this gold here almost matches the gold that's on the wheels. You showed a mix like that and it was awesome. Yeah, the sparkles, you could do so much stuff with it. Pearls and flakes and all that stuff. You could do a lot of stuff with it. You get really creative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give this a good shake. All right, so I'm gonna lay some. Get that out of there first off. Forty fifty for adhesion into the gold. Bam. And a little bit of reducer. So yeah, um, I was just saying about the paint. Uh, Fing sent it over. And um, he said he's never going to use it because it's t-shirt paint. I know I just had the cap for this. Where did it go? But the pearls, you can use them on pretty much everything. The pearls are, are okay to use on other stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it would be Colonial Penner where there's original. <laughs> oh, the answer is depends. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. Gonna hit that trifecta, you know. Of Do one coat real quick, gonna let that dry, we'll do another coat. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna do a red backer. Either red or orange. Or should I just go straight black? Straight blickety blickety on it. I want it to be darker than it is.
right, so let's just give that layer one quick second to dry up. Just got that dry, son. That's definitely looking nice and hot right there. We kept, when you get that light on it, oh boy. I think red would give us a nice deep shift. Purple is also a pretty good choice, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I want to keep a little brightness to it, and I want to keep it kind of poppy. And I think red is probably a good in between. Orange, I think, would just leave it being way too bright. Black, I think, would make it too dark. Right on, honey, with the $10. Have fun with the RC. Duty calls night off. Enjoy your, your night. Hopefully you have a good night. Um, good luck at work. And, yeah. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the donation. You're awesome.
Ooh, so yeah, you see that? Oh! Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's... That smacker doodles, boy! Oh, that smacks so hard. Oh, I'm in love with it already. Oh, that's, that's smacker doodles. Red was the right choice. Not gonna lie, look at how good that looks. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanna get it on the track already. Let's give that red a little bit of time to dry. We'll do one more coat. And then uh, we'll go from there. Oh man, I'm excited. Um, RC Crawler Leon said these colors are by Tamiya. No, these are Createx colors. Welcome to the welcome to the channel. Love your skull tops, right on? They're available on that website right there. See that website? Mike'sBrush.com. You go and get yourself your, these nice skull caps. These ones are hard, but we're we're hoping to offer flexible ones here soon. So cool watching live. I don't know. Thanks, James. Oh, man, that really pops right there.
So here's what we're looking at. That red boy, oh, that red gold, look at that. Oh, that's sick. I fucking dig that. I don't even care about this because the red gold looks so good. Anyway, I, I was thinking white, right? White for the back. Right here. Just regular old what? The good old what? Man, that looks nice and oh, that looks nice. That looks nice already. All right. <clears throat> I was thinking why uh, maybe we should lay some different hot rod sparkle in there. We've already used the hot rod. Wait, we used sparkle white, but we used it with the candy. Should we do hot rod sparkle white and then just use white backer on it? So it'll just it'll just be nice and glittery. That's all it is. This is just gonna be nice and glittery. That's all. You know, honestly, I could have done that that red, and it would have been red, white, and blue. But the wheels are gold, so I was I I, I needed something to kind of go with the gold. <laughs> Purple. Purple. purple black black uh, black wouldn't look bad I just think white would make it look more pop and it'd give me more contrast because this blue is so contrasty and the whites like this uh, when I'm driving down the track I'm definitely gonna use this gold stripe right as to tell as how the car is turning in direction to me and the blue is a good pointer um, and the white will be like you know because the back is gonna be white so that'll give me a good indication the rotation of the vehicle um, and that's kind of what I was thinking is like the white it's not only gonna go good with the colors but also gonna be good like be a good contrast for me to be able to tell which way I'm going on the track you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying because I'm, I'm not that good at driving <laughs> it'll show mud contrast yeah So let's do just, yeah, we're going to do the, the hot rod sparkle white and then we're going to throw some white backer on it. Nothing too crazy, but just simple effective coloring and that way when we sticker it up, it'll look pretty good. Thirty-two minutes and I'm out. Dang. Two thirty. You're gonna leave early.
You can actually see that sparkle just getting over everything. See that guy? Cody Kelly Robinson, what's up? Uh, tattoo artist trying to learn airbrushing. Any tips training the brain to use the finger while at the same time doing the motion? So if you type into the search bar on YouTube, how to airbrush a dagger stroke, I have a couple of videos on this. And this is the most helpful tip that I ever received and that I've ever given is to master your dagger stroke. D-A-G-G-E-R-S-T-R-O-K-E. -E. Dagger stroke, son. And you gotta learn to stroke it good. And once you're really good at stroking it, maybe try to give some painting to something. With the dagger stroke, I think it's seriously underestimated. A lot of people, oh, why do you say that? Oh, people don't pay like that, blah, 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 blah. Do it, do it, get good at it, and then come holler. Because more than likely you're gonna come, come holler and say, no, oh, damn, thanks, man, that was the best advice ever because once I got really good at the dagger stroke then everything just became really easy to paint. It's like, yeah, I know. I've been, been watching them for the past few days. Good, hopefully that's good. Um, Hopefully, hopefully you're not sick of me by the end of the binge. Um, thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club. Good luck. I mean, the dagger stroke is probably the most important thing. From there, it's just going to be practice. Practice, practice, practice. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Justice says, join the membership, support the channel. <laughs> and keep stroking it. Yeah, yeah, stroke it good, baby. Stroke it real good. You gotta stroke it to the left, stroke it to the right. And then when you does stroke it to the left and right, then you gotta stroke it up and down, up and down. Some would say you have to become a master at it. <laughs> Alright, we just gotta leave this some time to dry. colors boy I love that that looks fucking sick oh I want to put it I want to already put it on the bot on the chassis just to see what it looks like I'm gonna do a couple more coats of white we'll do some black backer over everything um, or actually wait we still have to do the pinstripes so I have to unpeel and, and paint the pinstripes so <laughs> is that the is that the, is that coat the thickest coat not yet no we're gonna we're gonna do black backer over everything once we're done and that'll be the thickest one um, and then I'll let it dry um, and we'll probably do some more I'll do a clear coat over that as a protectant and to make it easy to clean Blow dryer coming up. Just letting you know, headphones, blow dryer.
Alright, now let's get this dry, we'll unpeel the pinstripes, and we have to decide on a color for the pinstripes. <laughs> you thought we were done? Nah, we ain't done! <laughs> Peel the pinstripes, paint the pinstripes, lay the backer, put it on the chassis, see what it looks like, let it dry, put the clear coat, take it out racing. Take it out racing. Immediately you must take it out to the trip. I'm going to unwrap my lowrider panel you painted on Christmas morning. Can't wait to see it. Nice. Okay, got one pinstripe off. Get that other one. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, the lowrider panel I painted on Christmas morning. Christmas morning? <laughs> I'm trying to think what you what you mean by Christmas morning. It sounds like a joke, but I don't get the joke. <laughs> Alright, look at that. You see that nice little line in between? We gotta decide what we gonna do on that pinstripe. What color will go good with these three colors that we have already? And it, it's sparkly too. I can see this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see the sparkles. And they look pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Now we just gotta decide on, on these uh, pinstripes. Going all the way around. And you know what? I was thinking of doing it this limelight green. Oh, that's when you're gonna open it. Oh man. Jeez, why are you waiting that long? Don't wait that long. Open it. Go open it, man. You could have it set up by Christmas morning. Silver or red? Ooh, interesting. All right, so, oh man, it doesn't even match. Well, it's pretty close, I guess. But I was gonna say the limelight green, because the graphics that come, come in this bright ass neon yellow. So I was thinking of putting some of that right up in there. It would pop, it would look good. But now that I'm looking at, these are really bright yellow. Like really bright yellow. Huh. Huh. 
don't really want to use a fluorescent color. Look good, look hard. Red would look okay. Because it would kind of match with the other ones. But I feel like red's a cop out. Like it's like, oh man, you got these wild, you got this wild orange, you got this wild blue, and you got this sparkly white, and I feel like you're gonna just be conservative with the orange. Conservative. <laughs> green, I like the green, man. The green just sounds like a good, but I don't know, also I, I, I like the idea of red, because it would just be like a nicey class, a nice classy like race paint job. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I think I'm gonna go with red. Uh, yeah, 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 channel the freaking colors. Uh, red, red, <laughs> pink. If it was like hot pink, it would look sick. Hot pink, hot green. Should I just go with red? Oh my God, green. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, it's either the green or the red. I think I want to go green just because it would contrast a lot more. It would be like, kaplow, you know? It would look nice. So yeah, I think, I think we're gonna go green. We're gonna go green. Red, red, poison red, green, red, green, red. Oh my God, you guys. Oh shit, green. Hot pink, hot pink. Okay, let's take one last look before we pour a color in. Look, here's what we could do too. I take this, I can just stick it in right there. Can you see that? No, you can't really see it. Oh, you can kind of see it, look. Put it right there. See how bright that is? Oh man, that would look pretty good, not gonna lie. Red. This camera is like really on the colors. Green or red? Green, huh? Hot pink now, oh no. Hot pink would be good, I mean hot pink would look good. Pink faded into red. Y'all are killing me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fluorescent green, green, red. <laughs> Honestly, it's hard to choose. Yeah, it's hard. It, that's, it's pretty good. Those are both pretty good options. I think we're gonna go green. I think I'm gonna go green. I'm gonna stop looking at the chat because otherwise I would change my mind. I'm not looking. I see green. Alright. 
The green will make it pop. Yeah. I'm with you. I think we're gonna do we're gonna do green. See that? I like how you get the two different angles as they go around right there. What if we do that one green and we do the other one pink? Oh, 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 you make us smart, son! You make us smart! What if we do that one green and we do the other one pink? Oh, just when you thought he didn't know what he was doing, he comes out with a banger like this. Look at him, boy, right here, doing this crazy shit. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, this is gonna look sick. It's gonna look so sick on, on the, oh, with the wheels and everything. Woo! Bring it in, bring it in, just, mm. Do a little, little, little hottie pink. That's all we gotta do. Oh. 
I gotta open garage. Just letting you know, I gotta open the garage. Oh, and I gotta get the truck keys too. Oh, uh, paint's in the truck. So I'll throw some fluorescent pink. I'll do some 4050. A little bit of reducer in here. Now fluorescents are not the best uh, for being out in the sun. So I am gonna back it up with uh, probably some red. Or try to mix up a little bit of pink. What's up, Basil? Or is it Basil? 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 Basil?
Basil is in the leaf. Basil. I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of pink to use as a backer for the hot pink, just in case we do get a little bit of fading or something, you know, because of that fluorescent. Um, it'll just fade to pink. It won't have no crazy color underneath. So we'll just use a little bit of opaque white, some opaque red if I could get it to come out. Shakey shake. Second to dry. Now you can see it on the side there. Ooh boy. Ooh boy, look at that. Oh man. OK, 
Okay. I'm gonna let this dry real good. some black backer and then we can check it out what it looks like with the wheels and stuff and uh, once that black backer is dry I could take it and clear coat it um, and then I'll sticker it up I don't, I don't think I'll do the sticker on, on stream I think I'll do that on my own just so that I could have a break and uh, go do go do some food more better on that other camera like on the smaller one I thought you were doing green oh you did one pink and one green yes I win <laughs> Holy crap. 
They're good though. Give that backer one second to dry. We'll do another coat. You'll see how that blue really deepened up. Looks really nice. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I want to peel it. I want to peel it. <laughs> ah, I want to peel it so bad. Just let it dry for a sec. We'll do one more coat of backer. Good thing about Thanksgiving and Christmas, the best thing about Thanksgiving and Christmas is that it's tamale season, boy! Is a black backer important after all that mic? Um, so a lot of people like to use a lot of different colors. The reason you typically want a backer is because the, I mean, from this side, you really won't notice. But from like, when you're looking at it, this side, you're working on your RC and stuff. You can see that you can still kind of see through the paint. Um, and so if you want the cleanest, nicest, most even look, Adding some form of backer is the best way. You always want to throw a backer in, like how we did red backer over the gold, um, and that gives the gold like a nice deep tone. Black backer over the, the candy blue, like it's gonna give it a nice deep, deep. Um, and then it works to just even out the white, you know, just you know, make sure everything's nice and even. It just helps to stop the light. You don't want the light going through gives you it makes it look nice and clean on the inside kind of serves like a multi-purpose it, it's not entirely necessary depending on the colors you're using but it just does make it look clean um, on the inside and out so Oh yeah, the website too right now on uh, the website up there, mikesbrush.com, you see this up here? Right now, if you use uh, code XMIS2022, you get 20% off any order over 100 bucks. So you basically could get a stencil for free. Um, if that's something you're, you're into, if you're looking for some stencils. Also, um, if you wanna wait, like that, that coupon's good all the way up till Christmas. Um, but if you want to wait a few days, um, because we are getting our new laser in. Um, so the new laser will allow us to have even more precise cuts. I mean, the, the cuts are already pretty good, but we're going to just make them real precise, real fine. And yeah, that's where we're at with the, with the laser right now. I'm super excited to get a, finally get a CO2 laser. They're really expensive. So it's something we've been, you know, saving up for, putting off, and finally made the jump. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. All right. 
So I'm gonna give this a hot second to dry. Come over here, set up the chassis real quick. Um, then I'm gonna give that some heat. I'll go and lay the clear coat on it and then we can peel it. I don't wanna peel it without putting the clear coat on first because last time I got a little bit of uh, clear coat overspray on the Lexon body and it just, it didn't look nice. So I wanna, I wanna make sure I get that. Yeah, get the chassis right up on there. Uh, see what it looks like. Get over here. There we go. Okay, it's gonna need to be more like, more like this, right there. Okay. For now, let's go back over here. This bad boy's drying. Gonna take the blow dryer. Now is when it's probably okay. It's gonna be okay to give it a little bit of heat. I'm gonna get it nice and hot just to make sure all the Createx has let out all the paint, vapors, any water moisture, anything like that. Um, I'm gonna do it from far first to get all the moisture out, and then I'm gonna go in there and just get it nice and hot, and make sure everything's out uh, before I take it in the, in the spray booth real quick and just lay some quick clear coat, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll put it on the body real quick, so. All right. Uh, let's see here. I wish I had another tamale now. What the hell? Can the heat warp the RC cover? Yeah, if you if you get really really hot. <laughs> um, 
So we're getting a CO2 laser. Um, it's an ohm tech. Jeez, uh, I, I know it's an ohm tech. <laughs> it's big and it's, yeah. Just look up CO2 ohm tech laser. They have a small one that you could get too if, if you're really interested in one. Um, heat would have to be really high to warp the polycarbonate. Yeah, you'd have to like use a heat gun or something really abrasive. This is not a heat gun. This is a blow dryer. There's a difference. So, yeah. Be aware. Alright, so we got the clear coat on there. This will take about a little while to dry. But, it won't hurt anything to put this on the chassis while we look at it. I just want to give it a quick second to actually dry. I'm excited. All I need to do now is just sticker it up. Really cool with all the camera angles. Yeah, yeah, you're getting, you're getting it. It's So I could put it on the body, we could peel it, and um, we, I'm gonna leave the window masks on until the clear coat is all the way dry. Obviously, I don't wanna get my fingerprints all up in there, um, but we can peel off the protective masking on this side. So let me get it on the body, on the chassis, and then, uh, yeah, let's take a good look. You guys ready for the peel? Peel time! I like how that gold almost matches the wheels. It's like, it's pretty darn close. Well, let's see what it looks like once we peel it. Okay, let me get these off. Actually, I gotta go pee real quick. I'll be right back. Let me, let me go use the restroom. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, hold on, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. <coughs> you already know I had to get myself another tamale. <laughs> All right, ready for the peel? Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Where's the wing at? So the color don't match to the wing. But I don't even care. I'll paint that wing white. White with sparkles. That's one bad boy right there. Let's get you close. See if we can get some of that sparkle action. Oh, you see that? Baby, ooh, baby, baby, mama, I love it.
Not gonna lie. If that was a real car, I'd, I'd dig it. If that was a real car, I would be like, yo, that paint job's cool. Now I just gotta sticker it up. We'll put all the lights on, you know, all the little vents, all the, the window trim and all that stuff. This particular model comes with a mirror. The more I look at it though, the more I think the wing and the mirror, I might just do them black. Just straight up black. Oh man, but that looks sweet. Like right there, at that angle, boy. Gotta get, gotta get the TTO2 properly in there. Oh, look at that shot. It's a smexy, smexy thing. Wow, that's super shiny. I had no idea the difference. Yeah, no, it's like, it, it really changes it. You take that masking off, boy. Dude, I really dig that. That looks really good with the wheels and stuff. Once I unpeel the windows and, and get all this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo, boy. Boy, what? What? I'm digging it. That sparkle on the blue. I wish the camera picked it up better and didn't like lose focus. Cause that, that stuff looks amazing. Like you can see it a little bit, but it loses focus if it tries to like, yeah, it's trying to focus more on the reflection. Oh man. There you go, guys. That's my paint job for my Subaru Impreza Rally Tamiya TTO2. Um, yeah, if you want to see the, the finished results with all the stickers and everything, make sure you follow me over on social media like uh, Instagram or Facebook, at Mike's Brush. I'll be posting some finished pictures up on there. Man, this is nice. I, I honestly, this is nicer than I thought it was going to be. I was unsure of the color choices, but now that the green and the pink, oh man, that looks, it's hot, it's hot. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm in love, I'm in love. Look, look at that shot. All right guys, um, that's it for me. I had a lot of fun, I'm gonna go have fun uh, here in a minute putting some stickers on and stuff. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm going to stretch my legs a little bit and stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I know we're just kind of on here having fun. Uh, if you're into RCs though, hopefully it gave you some insight on how to lay some colors, how to just, you know, in general, get the paint to lay on there nice and properly and easily and, and nicely. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's my car. I'm gonna, I can't even believe you said, that's mine. That's mine, boy. What? It looks really good. I'm super loving it. So thanks for hanging out, uh, you know, to all the Skull Squad members, everybody that's in the chat today. Um, love you guys. Uh, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are ready for Christmas. Um, again, like I said, if you go up on the website right now, mikesbrush.com, everything is off 20%. Uh, I mean, you get 20% discount off of any order over $100. <laughs> I wish I could make it 20% off everything, but honestly, it, it has to be um, it has to be a lump sum like that um, just to make it worth it for everything. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the new laser and the new stencils. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, later. I'm gonna pick out some nice music and uh, we're gonna have a little, little montage on on this right here real quick. Let me get this.
what's up guys thank you for watching today's video as always I do appreciate all your support if you want to help out you can always click like on this video down below consider sharing it out to your favorite social media there's also lots of helpful links as well as any links to any stencils featured today right down below there's also a link for becoming a skull squad member consider joining to help out the channel if you have any questions you can always drop them down in the comments down below I do check them and I do reply whenever I have some helpful information. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, you can always click on the Mike's Brush link here and it will take you directly to the channel where you can see lots of other videos that we've done in the past. Thank you for watching. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> 